हेलो फ्रेंड्स यूर मोस्ट वेलकम इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल एविएशन जगत टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट ई एल टी एमरजेंसी लोकेटेड ट्रांसमीटर देयर आर मेनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक इज दैट वॉट इज ई एल टी वेर इट प्लेस इन एयरक्राफ्ट कलर ऑफ ई एल टी हाउ इट ट्रांसमिट फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑपरेशन ऑफ ई एल टी हाउ इट डिफर फ्रॉम मॉडर्न ई एल टी डिफरेंस बिटवीन फोर जीरो सिक्स मेगा हर्ट्स ई एल टी एंड वन ट्वेंटी वन मेगा हर्ट्स ई एल टी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक Now I will start my video. An emergency locator transmitter is an independent battery power transmitter activated by excessive g-force experienced during an aircraft crash. Its meaning is that when plane crashes, then ELT will experience a gravity force. K J of this ELT transmitter will act activated. Next question is that where it placed? Nearly in all aircraft, same location of ELT. In Airbus, it placed at up position of the aircraft. Just forward of the impinge of the aircraft. In Boeing, also it plays at position of the aircraft. In Dornier, the ELT transmitter is located on the left hand cabin adjacent to the passenger door, and its antenna is placed upper side of the aircraft. In Boeing and Dornier, its color is red, and in Airbus, generally its color is yellow color. Next question is that how ELT transmit frequency? It transmits a digital signal every 50 seconds after crash of aircraft on a frequency of 406.025 MHz. ELT transmits this frequency at 5 watt for at least 24 hour. Now one question is coming in our mind is that after distortion of the aircraft how it will get 5 watt? Before few second I tell to you it is a independent battery source. From there it will get this 5 watt. 406 megahertz signal is received by Cosmos Sarsat satellite and where is it in the world two type of satellite low earth orbiting and geostationary satellite are used with different complementary capabilities the signal is partially processed and stored in the satellite and then relayed to ground station known as local user terminal and the appropriate search and rescue operation are notified through mission control unit there are most important question for maintenance engineer is that within how much time inspection of elt is needed elt must be inspected within 12 month we know that elt is located at position of aircraft and just forward of impinge the built in g force sensor is aligned with the longitudinal axis of aircraft after crash of aircraft it will activated ELT with automatic G force activation mounted in aircraft are easily removable. They often contain a portable antenna so that crash victim may leave the site and carry the operating ELT with them. In the modern ELT may also transmit a signal on 121.5 MHz. This is an analog signal. Transmission at frequency of 121.5 MHz is no longer used. Now I know that One question is coming in your mind is that why it will not used? Because one twenty one point five megahertz was a worldwide emergency frequency monitored by the Cosmos and Sarsat satellite. However, it has been replaced by four zero six megahertz standard. Thousands of aircraft registered in United States of America equipped with ELT that transmit point seven five watt and log one twenty five point five megahertz. emergency signal where activated technician should require and inspection tested elt within 12 month a previous one and inspection for the same integrity as required for the 406 megahertz elt a certain response time are so significant with 406 megahertz elt that's why it's used today in industry now i hope you all guys understood all about elt if you have any doubt then you can ask any question in comment box if you are new in channel then please like subscribe and share thank you friends for watching my video